Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, there should be a button below the video right here somewhere. Please subscribe to our channel. We got like over 200 videos of really cool stuff that uh, helps you out with guitar tone and how to's and sort of stuff like that. We're going to talk today about bolt on necks and some myths and misconceptions and some kind of do's and don'ts stuff you want to watch for, okay? So, we're going to use uh, Dylan Custom Guitars Tele body that I've got cut here ready, and we're going to use my just my shop neck that I bang around and use for various stuff. Um, the first thing we want to address is this neck joint right here. Um, I don't know if a lot of people realize this or not, but the neck joint on a Tele really only has two sides to it. This side over here doesn't do a whole lot, okay? So this whole misconception of this neck joint has to be so tight that I could shape the guitar around with no bolts in it um, is really a misconception. If there was no neck joint around here at all and you just bolted the neck to this flat surface, it would be fine. It would totally be fine. Um, and there would be no loss in tone because it just it's just a misconception. Um, that being said, do you want the thing super loose and sloppy? No. Because on a telly, let me grab one. Obviously, once it's completely assembled, if you wanted to, you could push on this and pull on this and actually move the neck in the neck joint a little bit, right? So even on a really tight one, that will happen. The thing is, is if it's too tight, the expansion and contraction of the two different types of woods can cause cracking right here in this neck joint. I have seen it many times, at least on finish, if not actually wood, or if it's bound, have binding problems right here because this is so tight. There is no need for this to be super, super, super tight to the point where you can't pull it apart or you're going to shake it without bolts in it. So how tight should it be? Well, really, it should just fit properly. The thing should just be cut properly around here so that when we put our neck in, now that you're going to see that this is like, okay, so this kind of like slips in, makes some contact all the way around, boom, no big deal, okay? Now, how tight should this neck joint be when we bolt in uh, our bolts? This is another thing that a lot of people really get wrong. Now, I pre-drilled all this. When you drill this, uh, it would be really good to have, if you have to drill one from scratch, it would be really good to have a drill press to keep it straight, okay? But, just for our conversation right now, and I have an unpainted body, so let's just kind of do this quickly. Okay, now, the internet is going to freak out because I'm using a power tool to do this but this has all been pre-drilled and this neck is already been used. So let's go ahead and... Okay, now, you're gonna say, well, why did you use power tools? I thought you said never use power tools on this. Well, it was already pre-drilled. The neck wasn't, nothing's painted, nothing's finished. And here's what something, this is the key thing that I wanna show you, okay? When I put those screws in, this control plate is loose, okay? So it is not tight at all. And what I want to show you is the amount that you need to tighten this neck when you put it together. This control plate has uh, little flanges in it and these bolts, the proper neck joint bolts, are flanged. Okay? How much torque do we need to put on this? You can hear that I'm still wiggling this plate. Okay? Still wiggling, still wiggling. cross-torque it here, kind of like in my old engine building days. Still a little loose. And that's it. There was no torque. All it was was to tighten up this plate. This neck is perfectly tight in this body and will be a perfectly good neck joint. There is no reason to crank down on this stuff. I have seen custom shop, custom built guitars come in here with this thing. Uh, I actually saw a very expensive custom shop guitar 
uh, $3,000 guitar. Came into my shop last week, but this plate right here was bent because it was so, so tight. Now the thing is, is it's just not necessary. This just needs to make contact. It doesn't need to be tight. It doesn't need to be bolted down, torqued down. It just needs to be taut. Like no looseness, no space between here, just so that the surfaces mate together cleanly and that this plate is tight. As soon as those bolts go into those flares on that back plate, it is tight enough. If it doesn't rattle, if it doesn't move, it's tight enough. We're going to do a video, not this video, but we're going to do a video on shims. And I'm going to show you exactly why I know that there is enough contact in this neck joint for all of this to work together properly. Check that out. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. We will have, a neck, we will have another video on neck joints and shims so stay tuned and definitely subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day.